I'm hitchhiking to Dubovara. I just finished a trail here. Uh, it was actually a work-related trip. Um, so now I'm going back. And since I've built my life around bicycle, I try also not to use a car, even though I could have access to cars. Sometimes I actually do use cars, which is quite rare. Uh, I would say less than once a month. Um, that being said, I really love driving. <laughs> so that's something I also offer often to, um, to people when I hitchhike, that I can take the wheel. Um, I, I've loads of driving experience, far too much for my kind, but most of that I think I gathered um, uh, ironically using cars in an environmental uh, organization. So, um, yeah, hitchhiking I think is like really, really good. Um, it doesn't have the reputation it's supposed to have, I believe. Um, from what I know, and that is like stories of myself, stories from others, stories from others, including female hitchhikers, uh, which is often like somehow said like, yeah, but for women it's dangerous. Um, I, it's possible to make hitchhiking relatively safe. Um, like you can, you have the smartphones um, that can help track you or send a picture of the number plate or something like this. Um, <clears throat> if you feel so yeah everybody going the other direction I need to go this direction uh, I have this waterproof paper sign with like loads of city names on it um, so I think there are like eight different cities um, and there's still some space uh, very useful sign yeah the thing about hitchhiking is of course like 1.2 people per car that's the average in Finland and with hitchhiking I can get this average up um, make better use of the cars and I offer something to the drivers. So what the hitchhiker offers, there's a car coming, I need to try to get to right, I guess. Uh, what the hitchhiker offers is like you have two sets of eyes on the road. The like shared cars are statistically less involved in accidents because first of all you have shared two, two pairs of eyes on the road uh, the driver is usually also driving a bit more responsible when there is a, a guest in the car. And thirdly, there's conversation going on with the driver, so um, which kind of keeps the driver awake and makes the ride go faster for the driver. So I always try to make it a S positive experience for the, uh, for the rider, like for the person who gives the ride, for the driver. And um, often I offer some, I don't know, berries and stuff in the car. So, or, or... Uh, I might have some, I don't know, dates and nuts and... Yeah, so there's another car coming. This video has been long enough. I really recommend hitchhiking. I hope we would include it more in our mobility um, concepts. Um, and it can be made even that you have like kind of these local ride-sharing benches. Imagine like a bench standing here. And there's a car coming. I need to take that. Okay, giving it a try. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Love you.